what is up y'all welcome to another weekly vlog i know y'all are just so excited to get back on the phone girl because last week what <laughs> i hit y'all with a lot at one time baby we went to hawaii and i'm right you know what i'm just so glad that now we're on the same page because we have a lot to talk about because baby number two hold on let me let me just let me just show you baby number two very much bumping the front bump in the back <laughs> but baby number two is clearly already here already present i think maybe it's because i just had a baby and my body knows exactly what's going on they're like yeah we just did this like nine months ago or like eight months ago i mean it was really like when i got pregnant i was only seven months postpartum <laughs> oh wow that's actually crazy um i was actually like six and a half months postpartum yeah okay anyways um my like i'm blowing up okay 15 weeks pregnant so we're like uh, getting out of the first trimester or wait are we out of the first trimester isn't the first trimester 13 weeks zero to 13 weeks I'm in my second trimester. Girl, my back already hurt. I'm like, no, I'm like actually really pregnant out here. Like this is not even a game. I, okay, let me stop talking. We have things to do. Okay, well, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. This week we've got a lot going on. I actually need to get ready to go to a graduation party within one hour. I have to shower. I have to do my makeup. Thankfully, my hair is done. And it stayed intact, baby. I was swimming in the ocean, girl. I was doing all types of stuff. My hair is still intact. Um, but we have a lot to do this week. I want to give you guys pregnancy updates. I actually have to go to an appointment this week. So you guys will go to that with me. Genesis is teething. So that's a whole other story itself. Um, we've just got a lot of stuff to do. So as we got back from Hawaii, as you guys know, Hawaii was amazing. We had the best time of our lives, but it was all about getting back on track for us. And that especially came down to our finances. After any type of vacation, I always like to regroup, look at how much we spent, look at how much we went over budget. If we went under budget, were we within budget, all that type of stuff, and then plan out our monthly finances for the rest of the month. In this economy, it is so important to be aware of your finances and sometimes we just come up short no matter how many hours we put in no matter how much overtime we did we just come up short and that can be a reality for a lot of us thankfully our sponsor of the day dave has got your back dave is a banking app that can help you get up to 500 dollars instantly with extra cash and i know we've all been there when we get into an unexpected situation where we need more coins than we've got or we were expecting a bigger paycheck than we actually got there's so many scenarios that can happen when you just need a little bit of extra green you know and the best thing is with dave there is no interest late fees or credit checks and millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, do not hesitate and download the Dave app today. Think of it as a helping hand from future you. Download Dave today at dave.com slash Maya. That's dave.com slash M-A-Y-A. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve member fdic get you them coins get you them coins a hey, get you them coins dance get you them co my thing is this right they're what like i can come to terms with like genesis like nesting inside me right like that makes sense like okay she was inside me for nine months two like there's another baby inside me that's not genesis that is mine there's another baby that's gonna be waddling around here that's not her. I'm just realizing, like, coming to terms with the fact that I have offspring. You're telling me to? Okay, God. Thank you. <laughs> it's just crazy, y'all. Like, there's no way. Nothing fits, by the way, so apologies, but it just is what it is. Let's act like we we have more than an hour to get ready. Please, y'all. I need to go shower. I'll meet y'all in the dressing room. We're going to get this face together. Girl, it is too hot for all this. 
you know what i need in here i need a dehumidifier because this is connected to the bathroom and it gets like really humid in here and i don't play with that like y'all not about to be molding my stuff okay let's be for real so i want to give you guys some for sure i want to give you guys some pregnancy updates this pregnancy is definitely a lot different than genesis and it's very interesting just to see how every pregnancy is very very different that's why i'm telling you all it's like it's a personal experience like every some people literally are on bed rest their whole pregnancy some people be climbing mount everest like it just depends you know so i'll i'll say my first trimester was definitely giving like first trimester vibes as far as like nausea goes tiredness i would actually say that i think i was more tired in the first trimester with genesis at least like in the morning but now i'm just like tired all throughout the day but i think it's more so just because i'm tired because i'm raising a baby you know i did not get nauseous with genesis at all and that was a huge blessing with this baby but it only happens if i don't eat like i literally have to eat every three hours and i'm talking like a meal like not no snack like i have to eat a meal every three hours and if i don't that's when i become like super nauseous um and that was definitely happening in my first trimester and i mean honestly still not i think it's gotten a little bit better but in the early stages of my first trimester like yeah your girl was super super nauseous with genesis the biggest giveaway that i was pregnant was like my boobs were so sore with this baby that did not happen at all like besides the nausea i really had no tellers that i was pregnant like if i wasn't to take a test there was nothing that would have told me like hey like you're pregnant well, i mean i guess the nausea would have told me but you know and then another huge thing is just how big i'm getting <laughs> so fast like i at least had till like five months till i was given the girls pregnant with genesis but with this baby, we are, what, like month four, end of month three, and it looks like I'm pregnant, you know? So I think my body also just knows, like I said, I think my body just knows, like, what's going on. Like, they're like, okay, we were just pregnant, let's do it again, like, let's run it again. I was definitely scared, y'all. Like, I was literally, my heart dropped. I'm like... If you just had a baby, then I swear, you, those are the only people that will understand the feeling of taking a pregnancy test after you just had a baby, after you just got through the newborn stage and realizing you're pregnant again, because it's such a long journey, y'all. Like, it's not like, okay, like in two months, I'm gonna have a baby. It's like, no, for nine months, I'm gonna sacrifice my body again. I'm gonna be giving birth again i'm gonna be going through the newborn stage again and of course like you're gonna have a baby at the end of it and it's gonna be beautiful but for a woman having a baby is very sacrificial to a lot of things like i have just come to terms that these are my childbearing years and as far as like fitness goes like i'm going to move my body to feel good i have no expectations for my body in this season i'm just happy that my body is able to bear a child and has a healthy womb that's really my perspective on it but i have no unrealistic expectations of a snack back this time i'm giving myself grace for two years to obviously consistently go to the gym but i don't have any picture that i want to look like by the end of that two years i just want to feel healthy and happy this concealer is definitely a little light after this trip but we're gonna darken it up here with some contour but yeah i think with genesis i was like right back in the gym and don't get me wrong like you just have to change your perspective on the gym that's what i have to do because for me like a lot of the times the gym has been okay this is where i get snatched and i need to change from that to okay this is my place of release this is where i can feel good this is where i can show my body the love it needs and also like positive affirmations throughout this pregnancy are going to be super super important because it is easy to allow your mind to play games on you like okay you didn't go through postpartum depression last time but what about this time and what if the birth doesn't go well this time like those are all thoughts that i've had and i believe that a lot of women have after they've just had a baby and just got through that and now they find themselves pregnant again 
so those are all real real things that i've been going through but also taking that to god and knowing when a thought is from him and when it's not you just have to really be mindful and filter your thoughts at least i do in this season because it is giving I have probably 20 minutes to get Genesis ready, to finish my makeup, to do something with this hair. But at the end of the day, like you can't stress yourself beyond belief. Listen, I'm telling you, people with no kids don't, don't understand the luxury of just being, having to worry about themselves. Like it's very much giving, get ready for two. This morning I actually went out to do some errands. I had to go to Sephora to return something. I made Allie her gift basket. So we're going to Allie's graduation. You guys know Allie is not only my trainer, but one of my really good friends. If I'm not mistaken, I think she has literally been in college for the past like five or six years. Like she's done the thing. Like she's done all the courses, child. She done did the degree she got the degree she got the other degrees like she's out here doing the thing so we're going to celebrate her she's having her graduation party and i'm bringing genesis my girls love genesis so it never gave leave the baby at home it always gave pull up with jenna my mom was supposed to be going with me y'all but her back has been hurting she got back surgery um a few years back probably like five or six years back and they had put like metal plates in her back and they have really really been irritating her as of recently so i think for mother's day she works from home so for mother's day tomorrow i want to go out and get her a new office chair i see you're looking at something that last it's not this i'm just gonna put some of this on because i don't know where my it always gave laneige laneige lip lip mask so I just think with this pregnancy, y'all, I just don't have any expectations. I'm just allowing my body to do what it does, trusting my body, trusting God, being grateful to bear a child while also still being mindful of my mental health and what I need and my needs. I think last pregnancy, I was very like oblivious to the fact that I was pregnant and that like I couldn't do certain things that I needed to like slow down, calm down, rest. Whereas with this pregnancy, you know, it's hard because I have another daughter to take care of. But I'm also learning to like vocalize my needs and vocalize what I can and can't do and be okay with that because I am a very performative person. So sometimes God will literally put you in a season where you have to rest. And I know that's exactly the season that I'm in. So just being really mindful of that. I'm just going to put on this white tube dress that I got from... This is from Pretty Little Thing. Let me make sure I have no makeup on my hands. Cause that would be tragic. I remember wearing this dress with Genesis pregnant. So this is crazy. <laughs> like this is crazy y'all. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna put this hair in a bun. But first, let's accessorize. I've got this bracelet on put an extra couple on I'm not doing heels like I'm not even about to play myself probably do some white sandals like this these are so pretty to me oh no I hate these like why do y'all even put those on dresses oh my god I need to shave my armpits my thing is this why is Genesis in the crib if I literally gave her to Javon to watch I like apples and bananas. Here is the gift basket. Actually, let me tilt y'all up like this. Something super cute. So she graduated from KSU. Their colors are yellow and black, clearly. So we had to do a yellow and black gift basket. I love thoughtful gifts. So that is why I was like, let me give my girl a little self-care basket because it's really giving thoughtfulness, you know? I can't stand this. Like, this needs to go right now. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot I was a mom. I was like, I'm about to wear this cute little gold clutch. Yeah, right, please. <laughs> please, girl. You're about to wear this big old tote. That's what you're about to wear. Let's pray we have a good day. 
and let's go celebrate Allie's graduation. I love you, Allie. Congrats, we are so proud of you. Yes. If you want. Okay. <laughs> Let's do graces first. Okay. Happy first Mother's Day, Maya. I pray you embrace today for its true meaning. A day to honor motherhood, all your hard work and dedication to raising your beautiful little Jenna and the journey to come rising baby number two. You're, yes. such, a, you're such an amazing... Nothing was suspicious. <laughs> I think you meant like woman, but you just says who deserves the world. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. May God <laughs> let today be filled with overwhelming love and many joyful moments to look back on. Never forget all that you do for the ones you love. And always remember you are enough and deserve all that's to come on this special day. Thank you. Yes. yes. Oh, my mama, 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 Thank mama. you. Okay, let's do Eva. Let's do Eva. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Naya. My big little son. <laughs> now I can't believe we are celebrating your first Mother's Day with your best friend in your arms. This time last year, we were anticipating oh the arrival of Jenna, our princess. Yes, me. I'm so proud of you, Mama, and can't wait for this year's blessings to unravel. Aww, Aww. that was beautiful. I love you. That was beautiful. We're talking about you. The way I'm going to cook you. Let's do it. Grace, I care. Happy first Mother's Day, Maya. It's been amazing watching you transition into motherhood over the past years, and you have impressed us all. Although it's not easy, you carry it so well. And Genesis is so blessed to have you as a woman to look up to in life. Yes. You're so blessed to have to have her, and you're so blessed to have her in yours, in ours. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watch you grow as a mother of two, and no, we are always one call away. If you need us, Allie. Don't let me cry. Oh, I can't. <laughs> And don't forget it, for real. For real. Don't oh forget gosh. it. Tony said, Happy Mother's Day, Maya. I can't tell you how amazing it's been watching you flourish as a mom. You are born to be Genesis' mama and how, and now to baby number two. You carry motherhood so beautifully and make me so excited to be a mom one day. Aww. I hope you feel celebrated and appreciated. And you're in on... <laughs> Riding mine, I was like, I could wait. Tony, move a little bit. Something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Aww, wait. What about me? As a mother. <laughs> Very much a mother. Oh, yes. I appreciate all of you guys. Yes. Like, we hope you like just feel love. <laughs> mm -hmm. You trying to get away from me? Now you just grab my stuff. I let her listen to music yesterday in the headphones. She liked it. She was hyped. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, my first Mother's Day. Jenna, say ma, ma. Can you say mama? 
Show them how you know how to say it. Yeah, yeah, right. Show them how you know how to say mama. She does say it, y'all. But it's my first Mother's Day, so we're excited to have a little cookout at the house. Have my mom over, and we're just going to have good vibes, some food. So we're actually headed to the store to go get some stuff. Um, I think we're going to do, like, some steaks on the grill. Javon loves to grill, if y'all did not know. We're going to do some steaks. We're going to do some hot dogs. Not regular hot dogs. Beef hot dogs. Thank you. Kosher. We weren't able to get into church today. I woke up so exhausted, y'all, and I know I just needed to rest. That's me listening to my body. Thank you. But, yeah, I was definitely very tired. Um, yesterday was so fun, y'all. We were able to celebrate Allie. And then also, y'all saw at the end how freaking thoughtful my friends are. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all gotta just get into friend groups that make you feel valued, appreciated. Because if you would have told me these was gonna be my friends a few years ago, I would have been like, yeah, no. But it's the fact that I was ready for it and I'm equipped for it. So that way I can be in those rooms. Like. You can't expect to be in certain circles if you're not even that, you know, at least character wise. Okay, so I think I'm going to do four little ponies in her hair today. I'm still like a little congested from Hawaii. Thank you. I'm a little congested from Hawaii, so I'm still overcoming that. But I am excited to show, to, to celebrate my first Mother's Day. I'm going to show you guys what Javon got me. It's literally the most sentimental, cutest thing ever. So I'll show you guys that. But let me finish up Jenna's hair. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. And then we're going to head to the store on this lovely Sunday and grab some stuff for the cookout. Two iconic bows and then one in the back. Her hair is not thick enough to do two in the back yet. So we just stuck to one. Here's how my baby's looking. Cute. And for actual Mother's Day, Javon and Genesis got me this Happy Mother's Day book. But what's so dope about it is it's customized with them. So like this is Javon. He customized his character. This is Genesis. And in the book, it actually is saying like Javon's name, Genesis's name, my name. This is supposed to be me, y'all. Be for real. <laughs> it's so cute and sentimental and I love gifts like this. I'm showing them my gift you got me. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is super, super, super cute. Super sentimental. I'll okay. always have this. I wish I had a schmog in it. I know. You need a schmog. Yeah. Did you eat all your cracker? You ready to go? Yeah. To your food almost. Right. Are you going to chew it or no? Y'all, we're about to go. I don't know what this girl's doing. Oh, my God. So we got the orange squeeze. Ali pop. If you've got a Publix in your area, baby, I feel for you because I went majority of my life without a Publix. And it's been a shame because their subs are undefeated. Subway who? Firehouse subs who? Like, it's been Publix. It'll always be Publix. I get a turkey sub with extra mayo, Honey mustard, onions, lettuce, tomato, salt and pepper, American cheese. I used to be on my provolone, but American, like white American cheese, just it just does something, girl. I know it's horrible for you, but and cucumbers, cucumbers. It looks a little suspicious, but like trust me, this is the best sub you will ever have in your life. It is so good. That is so good. And Javon gets jerk turkey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. I see where you're heading. Jenna, you can't stare at the camera. They're not, you're not supposed to know it's there. <laughs> oh, it's on? Oh, great. But that's my card. How are you going to try to take my card from me, Miss Lady? It looks good, doesn't it? That is so cool. Uh oh, the mac and cheese is in here, right? In the bag that I put in. Oh, yeah, let's go to 
It's Whoa. Mother's Day. Three generations. Yeah, right. I'm still waiting for my Happy Mother's Day dinner. <laughs> Can I have it, please? Can you, can you say mama? Mama. 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 No. Mama. Elmo. Happy dance, dance to the happy you dance, dance. Like <laughs> Jenna, say mama. Ma, ma. Now you're shy. Here, have your binky back. This is so amazing. That is so awesome. Jenna. I got you something similar, but it's different what I got. It's really cool though. Huh. Hi, my baby girl. Hmm. Yeah. Is she hungry? She might eat it probably actually. <laughs> Grill master, thank you. Javon's making lobster tails, y'all. He made steak. Stella gets her groove backs over here. Javon loves to grow. We were, we were supposed to get a new girl for our anniversary, but then we went to Maui. So that's kind of out of the question. Y'all, look at what Javon did. I mean, this looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he knows all about Elijah's temper. Right. Eli Eli <laughs> all right. Lord, we just thank you so much for our mothers, dear mama. <coughs> you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we just thank you. We thank you for provision and for everyone's health. We just pray that you heal uh, Mama Izzy's back and throat mm -hmm. and everything else that's going on. Um, just give her healing so that she can continue to live a full life. Um, we thank you for our daughter and granddaughter Genesis, and we just pray for her temper that you just you know continue to work on her. Father God, um, we thank you for this food. Give us sustenance and energy. Um, and we thank you for time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Genesis, you need prayers, girl, for that temper. I didn't even try it to It got so it. bad where we live. Remember on Troy Street, way up? I think you were too young probably to remember when we were all the way up there. I used to make him run around the house because... Yeah, I remember that. I, I remember him doing laps up and down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. That was his punishment. To run up and down the stairs. For real? <laughs> yes. That's why he's nice at sports, though. That's actually really smart to do that. Are you pooping? Please don't poop. Not right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got a pooper on our... On our radar. What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday? Monday? Monday! Monday, girl, because I actually started the vlog on a Saturday. Hello! Had to take a little lunch break, girl, because we were about to go to the mall, but I can't. Like, y'all know how I got when I was pregnant with Genesis. I literally have to eat every three hours, like a full meal. So I went and I got some Chick fil A. It's funny because when I was pregnant with Genesis, I. I hated Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A was so gross to me. But with this baby, this baby likes Chick-fil-A. So <laughs> it's interesting to see that contrast. What are you doing? Mm. Thank you. I wanted to talk about this revelation that I received a few days ago. So, there were some really surreal, divine, supernatural things that had happened on our way back from Maui. We were at the airport, and we were actually prophesied over by this random guy that we did not know. He knew nothing about us, but he was telling us all this stuff that's happening in our lives right now. And was also telling us, like, the promises of God. And I'm a very logic-based person, right? And that's super hard because that contradicts faith, you know, me having to be analytical and to have evidence contradicts what God tells us to do, which is believe in the unknown. What God told me is in order for you to receive what I have for you in this season, you have to let go of logic. Everything that God does does not make sense. 
and we have to stop trying to make it make sense y'all i don't know who this is for because i know it's for somebody other than me if you're trying to make everything make sense connect the dots have it all mapped out and planned out you're not allowing god to move and show you that he is god you are not god you don't see things how he sees them you don't have your life planned out and mapped out how he has it so we are trying to be so in control because it's also a control response for me right if i'm logical and if i'm planning then i have control and i know what's going to happen and god's like let go of control because you are going to have absolutely no control but my will is going to be done and my will's perfect so i don't know that was just a quick word for somebody because i have felt that in my spirit for the past few days to just let go of my logic and allow god to show up and blow my mind that's the only way that he's going to be able to show up like that if i'm so close to the puzzle trying to put all these pieces together i'll never be able to see the bigger picture of what god's doing and i know that's for somebody as well so girl i'm about to just eat my chick chick thank you i just mm, it's so good so we're actually headed to the mall um they've got some really nice outlets by where i live that i haven't gone they've got like a sax over there at tiffany's they got it all so i'm gonna go and try to find my best friend a birthday gift her birthday's on wednesday the very much girl's birthday is on wednesday so me and genesis are doing a little mommy daughter date and we're headed over there she in the back just <laughs> blowing bubbles and all types of stuff i'm so happy to celebrate another year with my best friend <laughs> This is my third birthday with her, so it just feels like every single year we've grown so much, and I love her so much. You already know. Y'all, I really need to, like, stop talking so I can eat, but y'all, yesterday I went live with the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, my God. The response is insane. Like, y'all are not playing. Thank you, y'all. Like, I love y'all so much. Like, I really, really, really love y'all so much. And even if I can't get to every comment, know that I love you. Like, I appreciate anybody who's ever viewed my video, supported my video, shared my video, commented. Like, you are so special to me, and I love you, and I am so appreciative of you. It's just so beautiful to see, like, the community that's been curated over the past almost six years, y'all. We have been here for a minute, and some of y'all have been here since the beginning. You know, like some of y'all have been here before Genesis. Like, it's really crazy. So I just appreciate all of you. And I just wanted to say thank you. I love you. Hugs and kisses, prayers always. Like, I'm always praying for y'all. So thank you. I love y'all. So let me finish my food. And then we're going to head to the mall to find Eva something for her birthday. The problem is, Sax is giving the girls absolutely nothing. The best thing they have in here is probably some shades. But my best friend is not even like a shade type of girl. These would be cute on me though. <laughs> the handbags they have out, they have like a couple Tory Burch and a couple of Valentino, but they are <laughs> tragic. So we're just gonna make our way through Saks and exit left and hopefully find something at a different store. Right, I think that would definitely be more her vibe uh -huh. because she does work with a laptop, so. This one. But I kind of like the structure of this one. Uh -huh. I'm voting for that one. It's You're gonna one. vote for this one? Yeah, but I'm gonna keep looking course, to see if I find anything else. Yes, ma'am. What was your name again? Maya. Maya. Roxanne. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Roxanne. We're actually. So Thank you. <laughs> So we are in Coach. So I ended up making my way into Coach. And their bags are actually really cute, y'all. Like, this is what I was looking for. Like, I need, like, a quality, cute, minimalistic. Like, my friend does not like all the patterns and all that type of stuff. She already has a dark brown Louis bag. So I was like, let me get her, like, a cream-colored Coach one. Let's get one of them for you. 315. Get out of here. I feel like burn up. <laughs> it's a little hot here. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. You too. What's up, y'all? So I just got home. I'm literally so tired. Like I haven't drank caffeine in a really long time. Like for whatever reason, this pregnancy, like coffee and me, have just not been a thing. So I finally had like a um 
white chocolate mocha from Starbucks and I feel like I'm crashing so bad. But I wanted to show you guys the purse that I ended up going with. How pretty. I know she's gonna love it. I just know it's so pretty. Ah! So I gotta box it up with all of the, the boxing materials they gave me. So we're gonna box this up for her, but I really hope she likes it. I know she doesn't have anything this color and it's just such a gorgeous, simple purse, especially for the spring. So shout out my bestie, my bestie. <laughs> no, I know she's gonna love it because my good sister said she wanted a purse, a new purse. So I got her a new purse. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to box this stuff up and go and take a freaking nap. I'm so tired. There's dishes that I don't even wanna look at. Like I need something to just go over my sink cause I am not trying to look at none of this. But I'm gonna take a nap and I'll talk to y'all a little bit later in the day. I just need to refresh. I haven't gone to the gym in over a month. And I could tell in here. So I was like, Oh, I'll just go on Wednesday and then I'm like, why? If you're feeling like this right now, go to the gym right now. <sighs> Girl, it's just like, I feel like, like spiritual warfare is real, for real. Because I've really been in my word. I've been like centered on God. And there'll just be days where I just feel like heaviness on me. And it's like the enemy really thinks he's about to get me off pace. You got to know your weapons not only things to do spiritually but things to do physically like working out is a great outlet for me it's a great stress reliever and i haven't done it in a month and i feel it y'all so i am i'm about to work out i'm about to work out i'm about to get a good workout in matter of fact okay y'all are gonna come with me we're gonna do this thing together i'm gonna get a good old workout in because I swear that is therapy for me and it always just turns it around oh I think I'm gonna wear these little gray and blue shorts with this blue top in that okay let me change real quick <laughs> like this is literally giving like five months every pregnancy clearly is different Put on some deodorant but i am excited y'all like sometimes you just have to know okay be aware of what's going on in your mind and then do the things you know you need to do to combat it like i know that if i was to just sit in my room and scroll on tiktok that's gonna do absolutely nothing for my mental health but if i get my butt up and go to the gym because i have it in a month I just feel like this workout is literally going to be like emotional release for me. I'm just going to put on my music. Go. It's not about going hard. It's about literally just moving my body. Showing my body some love. So I'm excited, y'all. Let's go get this little workout in. You got three things. I want to say it again. Because some of y'all are still in relationship with the enemy. I just want, I want, I, I want to reveal to you what his plan is for you. Right now, you're in his territory. you messing with him. you playing his games. I just want you to know what his role is. Just in case you didn't know, nobody taught you. We're going to say it together. He has three distinct priorities. Three very distinct priorities. The first one is to kill. First one is to what? Kill. kill. He wants to kill you. If he can't kill you, he'll at least try to steal from you. And if he can't steal it, he'll try to... Anybody ever had a relationship and the devil tried to... You know it was a healthy one, the devil tried to restore it. He tried to uh, destroy it. Anybody you ever seen try to destroy it? Anybody had a job, you had something good going on, and the devil tried to destroy it? You ever, you ever, you ever just, your life, <laughs> you just woke up one day, you're like, I'm just not feeling right. Something's wrong. Something's off. You ever had that before? I promise you they didn't come from God. Because he told you, this is the day that I've met. I want you to Rejoice. and I'm being real, y'all. That's what God offers. And then he said, if you seek me first, if you seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, what's going to happen? 
I'm going to add everything you desire. So you got one dude saying, I just want to kill, steal, and destroy. And you like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> destroy me, destroy me. And you got another one saying, I'm not that aggressive. I'm not going to run up on you like that. I'm over here. Good morning. Good morning. We're just going to do a quick little pony. We're going on a walk, y'all. It is Tuesday morning and me working Hello. out last night got my whole life together like it was crazy y'all i needed that so bad and i also realized like i need to get up in the morning and get outside period like period need to get up and get outside because i don't go outside much like actually just outside soaking in the air and our back like patio is like enclosed so it doesn't even give the girls really outside so that's why i was like you know what I am going to go on a walk with Genesis. I'm going to strive for like every other morning. But hopefully every morning. Okay, what are you doing? This is your dad's bracelet. I'm going to strive for every morning with her. Just to get out and get active. And I know it's definitely going to help. Just with everything. So... Me and Jay, I actually think we're gonna walk to Duncan so we can go get some food. Um, When's the last time you ate? You should be good till 10. It's only 8.40. Genesis is doing pretty good. She only wakes up at like 3 a.m. for Javon, then she wakes up at 6.30 a.m. for me. So I'm an early riser, whether I like it or not. Um, and usually when I wake up, we'll just go into like my office because I have all her toys out and she'll just play and like crawl and stuff like that. So I literally use that to do your hair. Why is it in your mouth? So we're going to go on our hot girl walk, our hot mom walk. And she just, she don't listen. Come on, mommy. <laughs> Jenna, hi. Clap, 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 clap. Jenna. Jenna. Jenna, Jenna. Okay, y'all, so I just pulled up to Duncan and they discontinued the tomatoes on the avocado toast. Like, what's the point of avocado toast if there's no. You feel me? I feel like my lens is a little dirty. My walk was amazing. It was probably like a mile here and then we're gonna do a mile back. But it just feels so good to like wake up and move my body even if that's not going to the gym. Cause like going to the gym in the morning is not realistic for me but going on walks to Genesis it is. So I got some hash browns, avocado toast and then I got a coffee. This is the um, turtle ice, oh wait no, truffle. Girl, I don't know, I can't even read. It's one of their new signature ones. But let's try it. It looks chocolatey and I don't like that. But it's good. It's really good. What are you doing? What are you doing? Genesis did so good, y'all. She literally loves going on walks. Like, look at her. She's got a little cracker. What are you doing? You're being silly. Hey, Jenna, clap, 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 clap. Can you clap for everybody? Show them how you know how to clap now. Chew your food. Yay, clapping, yay. She get camera shy, girl. You've been clapping all day. But this is just your sign to literally make the best out of your situation. I know it, as moms, it can be so easy to just stay in the house and just blame it on, well, you know, I'm a mom. I gotta stay in the house and watch the kids. It's like, you can also bring the kids out. You can also bring the kids to the park. You can also just get outside for you. So that's what we're doing today. And I feel really good about it. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we'll walk back home. What's up, y'all? So it's later today. I just spent the last two and a half hours taking on my braids. Yeah, because we're gonna do a date night tonight and I feel like my braids were just like, 
we've been there we done that they still probably could have lasted me a week but i'm just like very picky about my hair and i have a girls night tomorrow so i was like these braids can only last me so long and then i was just thinking about like being in the ocean and still having the ocean on my head and it was kind of like grossing me out so i finally washed my hair my hair feels so good i literally have no product in my hair besides a little bit of edge control because i'm gonna do just a u-part wig and dang i forgot to wash the wig before i left so it can dry dang it um but anyways, so I'm going to be doing a get ready for me for a date night tonight. So I just, the shadow looked like a tree was falling on me. Anyways, <laughs> I'm doing a get ready for me for a date night. So we're going to Sephora because I need to re-up on a few products. I didn't know that way, you know I use like the way St. Bart's body scrub, but I didn't know that they also had a body lotion and... I think it was a body wash. I was watching McKenna's vlog, her travel vlog, and I was like, oh my gosh, they literally have a lotion and a body wash. And I love the St. Bart's scrub so much. Like it smells so clean, so fresh, just so sweet, everything. It's like my favorite scrub ever. So I was like, I need to get the whole set. So hopefully my Sephora has it. I'm also gonna be making a couple returns. And girl, literally last night, like the pregnancy cravings are getting so real because I was ready to get out of bed at 11.30, mind you, I go to bed at like 10, so I don't know what I was doing up at 11.30, but I was ready to get up and drive 15 minutes to go get some Chinese food. But Javon was like, that sounds crazy, like come on, just eat, sleep, go to bed. <laughs> so I didn't get it, but I've been thinking about it all day, girls. I'm going to get my Chinese food. And there's only one place that I will go to that I know is gonna hit every single time, Mr. Wonton, thank you. Because all these other ones, like their lo mein is just not giving, like I'm a big on lo mein. Like if you have good lo mein, I can rock with you. But this is the only place I found that has good lo mein. So that's what we're doing today. I've been so on it with watching the Know For Sure podcast. Like you guys know that we have a podcast called The Very Much Podcast. And I was watching the Know For Sure and I was like, oh my goodness, like, I've heard about it, but I never really got into it. But I was getting into it, and my girls were spitting facts. I'm just so proud of B. You can see that she's like on her journey with Christ, and she's developing and growing in him, and it's very evident. And I just love that for her. I literally love watching women evolve. I love watching women grow. I love watching women not allow their current circumstance to dictate the rest of their life and hoping for new and hoping for more. Like, that's just so beautiful to me. So I'm just so proud of them. And they were talking about Dr. Miles Monroe and I was like hold on not y'all hit to doctors Miles Monroe if y'all are not hit to doctors if y'all are not hit to Dr. Miles Monroe he has been like my spiritual mentor for probably the past year or two now when we think of mentor we think of somebody that we can just call up and we're like hey I have a question that's not the reality of mentorship for a lot of people right though that's great having that like one-on-one -on -one connection there are so many people that have so many resources out and available to you that that can be your mentor Sarah Jakes Roberts another pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts another great mentor of mine because I utilize the messages she has podcasts she has books she has information she has events she has all of that is her pouring herself out into the world and you can be a mentee if you soak in that information mentorship is not always about having that one-on-one -on -one access to call up somebody it's about just utilizing what they've already put out in the world so with dr miles monroe y'all y'all always ask me how do i get closer to christ how do i grow and he is the just perfect person to teach you not to hype you up and motivate you and get you running around the pew no he's going to teach you but when i was in my learning season and i'm still very much in my learning season i'll never not be but I was just soaking in all of the goodness. Like the way he breaks stuff down is insane to me. Like he is such a blessing to this world. He has passed, rest in peace. But y'all, if y'all really want to learn about God, not just some surface level stuff to get you hyped up. I'm talking about learn Dr. Mom Monroe. He's got he's on he's got I think many different podcast platforms it's not his particular podcast but people have taken his sermons and put them on different podcasts if you just look up dr miles monroe sermons anywhere you'll be blown away so just anointed touched by god i mean he 
he just does it every time me and Javon Javon actually got me hip to him and ever since I just have not looked back because he has been just such a spiritual teacher for me I think there's different people for different reasons right sometimes we're looking for the all-in-one maybe there's somebody that can motivate you and help you get out of that dark place and then there's somebody that can actually teach you the the basics and then there's somebody who can help you to dive deeper with your relationship with God there's people that God has blessed and anointed for a certain reason and sometimes we try to look for that in one person and that's just not a reality so I think finding what you need in that season finding who you need in that season I should say is super important and I know that right now like I'm in my learning I'm really trying to just soak in God be aware of what's happening around me and how God is trying to use me and just be more spiritually equipped so which is why I've been so all my doctors my mom row y'all gotta get on it girl but I will meet y'all at Sephora we're gonna go grab a few stuff and then head back home well actually I'm gonna meet y'all when I got my Chinese food because I gotta show you how good it looks like yes give me the dark moisturized lo mein I don't want no dry lo mein like, I don't want that. I want it very much sauced up. Sauced up. It's perfect because there's a UPS right in this um, plaza. And that's where I had to go next. So, clearly it was destined for me to get this Chinese food. Oh, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Make sure it's up to par. I was going to get a Sprite, but I was like, okay, now you're doing too much. But I feel like you need soda with Chinese food. Oh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's hitting. Okay. Wei also has a perfume. Hello. Oh. Yeah, immediately. I literally didn't even have to open it. It smells so good. What's up, y'all? We are back. It started pouring. Not even just like pouring. Like I couldn't even see in front of me type of rain. Thankfully, I made it back. Let's see if this white will help with this yellow going on. Um, let me show you guys what I got from Sephora. So literally, Way, please sponsor me because at this point, what's going on? We've got the body cleanser. We've got, I actually end up really liking this, y'all. I came home and I smelled myself. I'm like, this is what I've been missing. This is the Melrose Place perfume. It is, it says it's velvety rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, cedar wood, and white musk. It just gives that. So you guys know like a couple weeks ago, I had picked up what I thought was like a clean smelling perfume and it is very clean smelling but it just smells too clean it smells like you're literally in a laundromat not my vibe i wanted something a little bit more sweet and this is like the perfect the perfect scent for me i'm like <laughs> it's giving not full you know what i mean like come on y'all don't blame me now but it just smells so good yeah thank you i'm glad i got this i really am because i would have been mad <laughs> i would have came home smelled myself and been like i should have got this um then i got the body cream so good like literally this yo i'm not even trying to drag it out y'all but it literally smells that good so i'm just about to be smelling amazing here and then I got the Soliel. Y'all know I'm I'm new to these little fancy names. Soliel Blanc, Tom Ford. This is a body shimmer oil, and it's in gold. I want to show you guys the shimmer because it's so nice. It looks so pretty. And then I know I'd be talking up my pink um, body illuminator. But, baby, it's Tom Ford, so let's see if you guys can. So here's how it looks. It's got like that really pretty shimmer in it. You guys can probably only see like the oil, 
right now. I wonder if I turn off my light, will you see the, the shimmer? The shimmer is there, just know it's there. So it's like very glowy, shimmery. I can put some on my chest for y'all. Like it's gonna give the girls like, okay, like this girl is radiant. And that's what I want. And it kind of smells like, girl, it smells like baby oil, <laughs> actually. Baby oil, so it's probably baby oil with glitter. Thank you, Tommy. Really all I did today. Javon's not even home, y'all. He's at piano lessons because my, my man is trying to pick up new ventures. He's trying to expand his horizon. I love that for him. So, um, I'm about to just chill. I'm probably gonna do my hair, actually, so I can put the that U part wig in. And tomorrow, we've got a lot planned. It is. Eva's birthday, so I'm probably gonna go get her breakfast in the morning and then just spend the morning with her. And then that night, we've got, we're on her third spot, like I said. So it'll be a really fun girls' night, so I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Crazy. If it's one thing we have to do, <laughs> it's ignoring how I look. I literally have my hair tied up, grandma glasses on. But baby, it's my best friend's birthday in 10 minutes. And I had to do the drive. Like, who's sending birthday texts? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm a very pull-up type of girl. She doesn't know I'm here also. So, it's 11.50 on May 16th. And it is almost my bestie's birthday. What is 26 giving? 26 is giving wife it's giving family it's giving mental physical spiritual prosperity i'm so proud of my best friend y'all y'all know we started a podcast together and to just see her in that light and just stepping into so many new roles i'm so so proud of her and i'm so excited to give her her gift and to just show her love like birthdays to me are so important Immediately locks car. I swear I just heard something. I'm gonna need the blood to cover me. The very suspicious. Anyways, um, don't know what I was just saying, but we have eight minutes, and I really hope she puts her dog up, y'all. She got a whole pit bull, and he was cute when he was a baby, but. Yeah, now he a grown man. So, <laughs> is the dog out here? Is the dog trying to get me? Like, imagine if somebody was to just pop up in my window. That'll be the day I just take flight. Like, Jesus, go ahead and just take the wheel because I'm out of here. All right, y'all. It's 12. Literally 12 on the dot. And hold on, I need my phone for sure. Like, we just, we have to. Her house is pitch black. <laughs> this girl's probably knocked out. Like, what are you doing at my house? The funniest thing is, this is the type of stuff Eva does for me. <laughs> like, literally. We got her bag and her balloons. I did text her fiance though. I was like, uh, I'm at your house. <laughs> for this date so if you want to see like all my hygiene outfit makeup all that make sure to tune in i'm trying to get this hair together girl there's like something's throwing me off in the front but we really do not have time to figure it out because toast is a whole 
40 minutes away. So let me show you guys the outfit. I'm doing this dress. Look at my thumb with this little clutch. I feel like it looks really cute. And it's nothing crazy, y'all, because it's literally daytime. But I just wanted to put on something cute for our date. So here's how I'm looking. And we have to run. We have to get out of the house because if not, child, we gonna miss our reservation. I also can start like a whole separate channel for more of that. Like you always have your wipers on when they don't need to be on. I just forget to turn them off for what? Like the speaking stuff? Yeah. I mean, you do though, a little bit. Like that's your podcast. Podcast is where you showcase that you have something to say. Right. Right. And then if you wanted to ever get into acting or something, you probably need to sign with an agency that specializes in. I don't know about casting. I'm just saying, you know, an example, and, and then showcase that. But y'all, you know. we are almost at Toast. And yesterday, last night, I booked our trip to Dallas. We're going to Dallas. Texas oh, next right. week and I'm super excited so we have an event with our accountant tax prep dude he exclusively works with creators which I think is really dope because navigating like finances when you're like a content creator can be really tricky so we've loved our experience with him so he's having like this penthouse dinner that he invited us to and all the other creators he works with so we're gonna go over there next Friday so it'll be in next week's vlog and then we're also gonna go to the Potter's house I pray that day that Sarah is preaching I really really do I want to see her preach live I've never seen pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts preach live so hoping to see her or anybody i mean the potter's house in general is just like a really really good church and they always have a word so we are gonna go there friday go to the dinner and sunday make that um sunday go to church in the morning and then leave sunday night so that'll be interesting but our flight is literally like an hour and a half just straight away get there boom so it's really not bad at all so i'm excited for that that's next week and tonight we've got Eva's birthday celebration. So I told y'all what we're doing for that. So I'm super excited. And the group chat has been just giving the girls life. Ali actually made Eva a cake. And Ali, one thing about Ali, she gonna bake. Like Ali is gonna bake. And she made Eva this beautiful cake. So <laughs> I know she's gonna be so, so happy. And yeah, I'm just super excited. So we're about to go and pull up the toast and eat girl. I'm so happy. I've been falling five when I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your game Yeah, something That makes me look at you too out there Baby, you can give it something Baby, I can run all the time Baby, I'm talking crazy Freak, where's my light? I feel so nauseous, y'all. Like, I cannot. It's time to go to Eva's little situation. I do not feel good, y'all. I'm super behind. I thought I was going to have time to, like, rest. But I literally came back and, um, just started getting ready so outfit is literally super simple like I said it's a very casual spot so I just got this little jumper on with the belly some little Balenciaga and that's the vibe so I really need to get up out this house y'all like ASAP so I will meet y'all in the car we're gonna go head over to the third spot it's actually called your third spot so if you want to go. I literally hate parking in Atlanta because you never know what's going on. I don't know if I'm supposed to pay for parking or not. There's free two-hour parking, but are we going to be here for more than... Okay, free for two hours. Yeah. Okay, period. So, I'm about to head in now, y'all. I'm still feeling really nauseous, so... Say a prayer for me, sis. I'm gonna definitely 
definitely need it. I should have put you somewhere I would know what to find you. Mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. But you got desires? I know, I know. But you got desires? I know, I know. But you got desires? And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time you had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. It's a prior. I try to pee all your lungs off and copy your job. I had to stand too close to this.